He won't bite. Nothing. He doesn't want to bite me. Chainsaw, the speckled caiman, is unusually friendly. He wants to take it, but he didn't want to actually hurt the turtle. That's because he's known Mike, the reptile guy, Hopcraft, since he was just a hatchling. Chainsaw is the reason Mike started rescuing mistreated and surrendered reptiles. And um, I had him for about four years, and then I sold him. I got him back about a year later, and the people who had him, they uh, mistreated him so badly. He had no teeth when I got him. He was so skinny. He had like a foamy mucus all over his face, all over his eyes, and that. He was in really rough shape. Since then, Mike has been doing about one rescue a month. Now he has over 70 reptiles in his care. A lot of pet stores maybe don't know as much as they should when it comes to selling reptiles. That's where Mike steps in with reptile education. He visits schools and even does birthday parties, encouraging people to be enthusiastic about reptiles but make the right choices when it comes to keeping them as pets. Oh. So, what would he recommend? Either a leopard gecko, a crested gecko, a bearded dragon. Um, those are pretty much the easiest ones to look after and they stay fairly small. What he wouldn't recommend is an albino Burmese python like Helga. Um, they start out really small, like they look really cool when they're little and they're only like a foot long and bright yellow and all that and kind of hang on your hand, don't do much, but then they start growing and growing and growing. And how big is she? She's 15 feet long. It's close to like Britney Spears. Oh, she's pretty, man. <laughs> okay. Now, it... Burmese pythons are a normally docile species. Uh -huh. Recently, the BC government banned keeping exotic animals like caimans or Burmese pythons as pets. Mike welcomes the ban and breeds only the smaller reptiles, but he does love being around the bigger ones as well. They're different. They're not like a cat and dog where you have to focus and pay a lot of attention and you know play with them all the time and that. Um, if you just make sure they got clean water, make sure they got food, they're good to go. In case you noticed a ring-tailed lemur in the back of some of our shots, this is Mac. He's not a reptile, but he is part of the educational program that the reptile guy does in schools. You want some more? Oh. I'm Erin Shaw in Abbotsford for The Express.